Yo, what's up guys? It's Chris from Fap Reactions back with a brand new video and today I have a different video. I'm going to be bringing you the top five moments I want to see at this year's WrestleMania. As you may know, Snowden, Kevin, Ryan, and myself will be attending this year's WrestleMania. If you're there, make sure you send us a tweet at Fap Reactions. Hit us up, stop by, talk some wrestling. It's WrestleMania season. It's the best season in professional wrestling. As you may notice, I have a different setup going on right now. I'm working on something, so when I do uh, kind of talk videos or whatever I may be doing, then I'll have a new setup and a new background with, I have right here, Matt Riddle autograph, Bobby Roode autograph, and just some random shit. But I'm going to get right into it right now. Number five, I want to see Ambrose and Baron Corbin get freedom in a street fight match. As you may know, Ambrose complained about last year's match with Brock Lesnar and about how Brock didn't want to do anything. Well, this is the chance for Ambrose to make up for it. He said he had all these ideas that Brock didn't want to do. Well, now, Ambrose, here's your chance. Baron Corbin, a free-going guy, a guy who is ready to put on a top match, who has really risen since SmackDown and Raw have become their own brands, and Baron Corbin started to find himself. There was points when he had that Dolph Ziggler feud. We thought he was just going to be another failed NXT call-up, but now he's been great, and this gives them the chance to do what Ambrose wanted to do last year. Last year, they teased the barbed wire bat and all these other weapons that I can't think of off the top of my head, and Ambrose basically complained, saying that, oh, well, Brock didn't want to do all this stuff, yada, yada, yada. Well, Ambrose, here is your chance. This is the chance to make up for it, make up for the lost match of you versus Brock Lesnar, which was just terrible. Your chance is this year at WrestleMania in a street fight against Baron Corbin for the Intercontinental Championship. That is number five. Number four, I want to see Evolution 2.0 officially be created. Now this is being filmed before Monday Night Raw on March, I believe it's the 13th. Yes, the 13th. So I want to see Samoa Joe Kevin Owens, Triple H, and possibly Pete Dunne the night after WrestleMania officially form Evolution 2.0. But at WrestleMania, I want to see Kevin Owens, Samoa Joe, and Triple H make it. So we know there's the three and there's the start of it. Then the next night, you add Pete Dunne. Now, it may just be rumors and everything, but that's what I want to see. They've been saying in promos, Triple H has been saying, Seth Rollins better not call me out. So it's starting to make me think they're not going to have a match. It's just going to be a fight. And the actual match is going to be at SummerSlam because of Rollins' injury. That's kind of how they've been... That's what I've been picking up from how they've been teasing it. Because they're not saying... Triple H isn't saying, don't call me out for a match. He's just saying, don't call me out. So that could mean anything. So in reality, they might not have the match at all, even if Rollins is about... 85% ready because you don't want to completely ruin the match and rush it because the match is going to be a great match when it does happen if Rollins is fully healthy. So for number four, I want to see Evolution 2.0 officially be made. The members Triple H, Kevin Owens, Samoa Joe formed at WrestleMania and then the night after they add Pete Dunne on Raw. Number three, I want to see Finn Balor have a match. Now, as I said before, this is being filmed before the Raw on March 13th, and this video obviously has come out after that. So, say Balor debuts, or excuse me, returns at this Raw tonight from when I'm recording, then obviously we might know more if this is a guarantee or not a guarantee because these things will already have happened. But since I'm recording it before Raw has happened, I don't know for sure if Balor's even going to be there. Now, Finn Balor was at WWE's uh, past live events. They had a six-man tag match of Triple H, Samoa Joe, and Kevin Owens taking on Finn Balor, Chris Jericho, and Sami Zayn. So, he's starting to get back into ring shape. The only problem is, I don't know if they can make a rivalry for him to have a match within three weeks. The only one that I can see happening is him versus Samoa Joe. But the downside, him and Samoa Joe have already faced on NXT, and also, if you want to keep Samoa Joe strong and Finn Balor has to win a Mania match, is Balor going to lose his first Mania, back, Mania match back in just three weeks' notice? I don't know if that's going to happen. But number three, I definitely want to see Finn Balor 
have a match. Number two, I want a Kurt Angle and Rusev segment. Now, there's been rumors that the reason why Rusev is getting time off is because he needs shoulder surgery. Stone actually just texted me that just a couple hours ago, so that's my source. I'm not sure where he got it from, but I will take his word from it gladly. Now, if that is true, that could rule Rusev out for WrestleMania. I don't know if there's a possibility of him still doing a segment, because I don't know how severe the injury could be if the injury is real. Rusev was basically written off at Fastlane when Big Show took him out with multiple choke slams and a knockout punch, but that doesn't rule him out coming out during Kurt Angle's Hall of Fame speech or Hall of Fame induction when they do it at WrestleMania, not when they're doing it at the Hall of Fame. So if Kurt Angle and Rusev have a segment, that leaves the door wide open for a Kurt Angle versus Rusev match. Now, Kurt Angle has not been officially signed to wrestle, but he has said that he is willing to wrestle and he can wrestle full time and he believes for a couple years. WWE has not said anything about Angle wrestling. They've said that basically this is just a Hall of Fame induction, but we know how those things go. With Goldberg coming back for the video game, all of a sudden he's wrestling again. Sting comes back for the video game, all of a sudden he's wrestling again. So don't rule out Kurt Angle possibly wrestling again and I hope it does happen. But the first match that makes the most sense is the most anti-USA person you have on the roster. Now, I know it's been played out with Rusev hating USA before, but it seems like this one's just fitting. Now, I know Cena has already beaten Rusev for the United States Championship, and it may seem like the USA has conquered Rusev already, but Kurt Angle is the Olympic gold medalist. You can't have him wrestle and never have a match with Rusev. It just makes too much sense. So number two, I'm going Kurt Angle and Rusev have a segment. Now the number one thing I want to see at this year's WrestleMania may seem obvious to some because I've said it before. The main thing I want to see is the Broken Hardys come back and have a segment or have a match. Just return to the WWE. Now they are currently in Ring of Honor and they did successfully defend their tag team championships at the past pay-per-view against Rapongi Vice and the Young Bucks. But the Hardys are scheduled to face the Bucks of Youth in a tag team title match the day before WrestleMania. And we already know that apparently the Hardys are not accepting any bookings after April 2nd. The only problem, TNA is trying to bring this whole situation to court where they feel they own the Broken Hardy gimmick. We've seen cease and desist orders sent out by TNA saying that they own the Broken Hardy gimmick and it can not be used without their consent. But I think that the Hardys can still come out and they may not fully be in gimmick, but they will be dressed up in the Broken Hardys look. Now TNA might try to fight it, but if the Hardys have their own lawyers and possibly WWE's lawyers, there's no way TNA is going to beat them because TNA just doesn't have enough money to keep up with it. And we'll just see TNA start to lose talent because they failed to pay him. Insert Rebby Skies tweets about TNA. Back on topic, the Hardys might come back to WWE. It's not guaranteed, but they might. It's been rumored that they will be coming out and it makes the most sense for them to interrupt the New Day who's hosting WrestleMania. The Hardys can have a short feud with the New Day and then possibly start feuding for a tag title. Maybe it'll be better to kind of have them feud with the New Day, last a little bit towards where there might be a second draft or there might be trades, because then with the depth of the tag team division added with possibly the revival coming up, then both tag team divisions on Raw and SmackDown will have plenty of tag teams. And adding the Hardys is a big element, especially if they hold titles in their Expedition of Gold. So I want to see the Broken Hardys come in and delete Meek Mahan and the man of three H's. So that's number one. You've now heard my top five. I want to hear your top five. So leave a comment down below on the top five things you want to see at this year's WrestleMania. It could be anything from Big Show and Shaq actually having a match, which almost cracked my top five. It could be a certain man winning a match. It could be a certain person debuting, a certain person coming back. Maybe you want to see Asuka debut in the SmackDown Live women's title match. Whatever you want to see in your top five, post it in the comments down below. Also, make sure you leave a like on the video if you haven't already, and subscribe if you're not a part of the Fat family. You need to join the family. Subscribe to Fat Reactions. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Chris, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.